The Park Service records the number of reported rattlesnake sightings on Bald Mountain Trail and Camelback Trail. The data gives rise to the following two bar graphs. So the height of each bar represents the number of sightings in each year. So on Bald Mountain Trail in 2016, there was 14 sightings. And then in 2017 and 2018, there were four sightings each. And on Camelback Trail in 2016, it looks like there were nine sightings. It's slightly above eight, but uh, it looks like uh, nine would be the right answer there. Then 2017, height of four, so four sightings, and 2018, nine sightings as well. Now, what we want to do is to use these bar graphs to fill in this contingency table. So this contingency table, all we do is take the individual data and plug it where it belongs. So in 2016, there was nine sightings on Camelback, 2017 is four, and 2018 is nine as well. Now, if we add those together, then that gives me the total for Camelback, so 22 sightings. On Bold Mountain, we had 14 sightings in 2016, four in 2017 and 2018. So if I add those numbers together, that gives me a total of 22 sightings also. Now adding the columns, nine and 14, gives me a total of 23 sightings in 2016, eight sightings in 2017, and a total of 13 sightings in 2018. Now if I add together 22 and 22, that's a total of 44. And just as a second check, if I add together 23 plus 8 plus 13, that's also 44. So those two add up to the same value, meaning I've got my data in properly.